Today we are talking about the meat-eating bull, Carnotaurus. There is only one known species of Carnotaurus, that being Carnotaurus sestri. This predator was discovered in 1984, found by Argentinian paleontologist named Jose Bonaparte. The only Carnotaurus fossil found was estimated to grow up to 24.6 to 26.2 feet long, around 9 feet at the hips, and weighed roughly 1.3 to 2.1 tons. This dinosaur lived 72 to 69.9 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period, and lived in what is now known as South America. Carnotaurus is part of the Abelisaurid family, with Carnotaurus being the best understood genre of the group. Members of the family include Majungasaurus, Scorpiovenator, Rajasaurus, and others. Abelisaurids are very well known for their forelimbs being incredibly short. Most and if not all abelisaurids were carnivorous, meaning they ate meat. Carnotaurus is very recognizable by the two horns on the frontal bone, as well as being currently the only known bipedal carnivore with this trait. There is still some uncertainty for the use of these two little horns, with many people speculating that the use of these horns were either for combat purposes or display. Carnotaurus was probably one of the main predators in its habitat, rather than being a scavenger. The feeding habits of this dinosaur remain unknown due to there not being enough evidence to provide answers. Some studies say that Carnotaurus would be able to hunt big animals like sauropods. On the other hand, however, studies say that this dinosaur preyed on smaller and weaker animals. Carnotaurus thrived in the southern area of the baby supercontinent Gondwana. With the habitat surrounding Carnotaurus being made up of tidal flats and coastal plains, Many types of species of dinosaurs lived in Gondwana, like abelisaurids, spinosaurids, stegosaurids, and more. In fact, abelisaurids are mainly restricted to Gondwana. Carnotaurus could have potentially hunted or roamed in groups. This would help the animals take down larger prey or hold territory from other predators. Unfortunately, not much is known about Carnotaurus' lifestyle, so until we uncover more fossilized remains, we must continue to speculate. Okay. Um, that is today's video. I understand that I've been falling behind a bit on making my videos and all that. It's been three or four weeks. But that is because of school and of me helping my dad do his YouTube channel uh, and videos and all that. Um, so yeah, I apologize for not uploading consistently. But I was surprised of how much information isn't really known about Carnotaurus' lifestyle and the way it lived. Because the, um, reviewing dinosaur episodes, I usually talk about how they lived and their lifestyle and all that stuff. Not the actual um, bones and all that. Which I should eventually do. Which I probably will just go more in depth about the bones and all that stuff. But, yeah, uh, that was today's video, which was very, very past due. But, uh, yeah, anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to like the video, as well as subscribing to the channel so we can push more of this dinosaur knowledge. Well, not push. I don't like the word push. Just spread the knowledge so everybody can learn about these fascinating creatures um, and yeah, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of my reviewing dinosaur episodes or on my content in general. I will be posting, do not worry, I will be posting more frequently, at least try to. But, yes, I'm alive, so. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. And have an amazing rest of your day.